So using graphs in Keynote uh, is becoming, I think, an increasingly important uh, component of learning to master Keynote. Uh, personally, I'm not terribly much of a user of uh, graphs. I prefer to construct them piece by piece rather than using the built-in charts and graphs. But still, there are plenty of people who want to use that, and uh, I have a little trick I'd like to see if you can work out just how I did it. Let's have a look. Let's go up to the uh, Charts menu, and you'll see this little item here. Lots of charts, 2D and 3D. Try and avoid 3D. It really doesn't produce very good things. And here's a standard uh, two-level chart, Region 1, Region 2. And what I'm interested in is the difference between the the brown and the green. If you just click on one element, you can actually see the raw numbers in the chart uh, editor there. Let's get rid of that. And what we want to do is bring this to the center and uh, enlarge it. And this is something wonderful you can do. Just highlight all the things and then grab the corner here and you can enlarge the, uh, the actual graph itself. This is a pretty neat uh, effect. Now what I'm trying to do, let's go full screen now, uh, is fill in this area because maybe I want to talk about the difference between the brown and the green and what happens to the crossover points somewhere after 2009. So here's the effect that I'm trying to do. Boom. With a gradient fill. Question for you is, how did I do that? Because none of the standard keynote chart graphs and elements help you to do that. So that's what we're after. Here's what it looks like. Good luck.